moving on we've got this clip courtesy of glock topics which really kind of put a little bee in my bonnet it's a random clip doesn't really bother anybody but for me it just kind of pissed me off because i've been in a situation way too many times and the caption says as follows your barber slash hairstylist kick you out of the chair for a celebrity you upset or understanding question mark and it's a video of what appears to be Quavo from the Migos walking into a local barber shop. And as he's walking in, one of the guys who's, I guess, meant to be cutting, he was a main guy there. And he's got somebody else he's cutting and the guy starts laughing because I guess he understands that he has to get out of his seat in order to allow the celebrity to jump on and have his hair cut. Hey, Lance, you gotta go, Lance. You gotta go, Lance. <laughs> honestly i would legitimately legitimately call world war three and that kind of thing i've never understood this it depends what barbershop you go to in general right but there is a certain thing with some hood barbers where if you're like a local or a regular you might have the advantage of maybe jumping the queue um based upon the barber because essentially the barber gets to choose who they like especially if the barber's the owner they get to choose who they can cut next because usually most hood barbers whoever's the owner happens to be the best barber right in there and that's who everyone wants to cut with anyway so he can decide if he wants you to go next or if he wants you to go fourth because you know you want to get your haircut from him so you kind of acquiesced keep your mouth quiet and keep it moving but for the most part I've always felt like any store you go to, any business, whatever it may be, it's a democratic situation, right? Like the, you go there early, you queue up, um, especially some most hood barbers, you don't even, you can't even book an appointment. You can kind of book like a time frame that you want your hair cut in, two to three, four to five, 10 to nine, nine to four, whatever, right? You can, you got like a time frame you want, but it's never like precise. Okay, I want my hair cut at nine, you're sitting at nine. Most of the time it doesn't happen. There are some barbers that exist like that, but for the most part, you know, things can happen throughout the day. But the idea that you can be in your seat, sitting down, getting your hair cut, doesn't matter if he's just placed the tissue around your neck or whatever it may be. And then because somebody is more famous walks in, that they can get you to stand up off your seat is absolutely disgusting. It's heinous. It really is disgusting. And if anything, it goes back to this whole idea that some people have that celebrities are like somewhat special or better than you and I when they're not. They're just regular people. What they've done is that they've been able to execute on a very, very, very high level, right? Whatever they're doing, whatever their talent is, whatever their skill is, whatever their occupation is, they execute on a very high level. Execute, execute, execute you know build a fan base whatever it may be cool did their thing but essentially they're just like you and i but they've been able to execute what they're doing on a very high level there's nothing that makes them any much any more better than who me and you are none whatsoever and this idea that they can walk into a barber shop and you know make you jump out of your seat in order for them to get a haircut as if their time is way more valuable than yours is insane who's to say that their time is more valuable than theirs what what makes you um, ascertain that an appearance on Jimmy Kimmel is more important than you getting your haircut before you go to work why does that why does one thing outweigh the other why not just come earlier and again if you're a celebrity and you've got all the money and you've got all the VVS's and stuff why not just hire your own personal guy to come to your house and cut your hair before you leave why do you have to go to a hood shop and basically you know disturb everyone's um, procedures and protocols just because you know whatever it may be he might be the best person to cut your hair locally I don't like it i really don't i think it's fucking annoying um and i would be super pissed off because it's, it's one thing if you're sitting down and you know waiting whatever it may be and he walks in that's one thing which was st still annoy me too the fact that because most of the time in his barber shops still, they don't really communicate with you as to when you can expect to get your hair cut you just have to wait right until somebody calls your name so it's one thing if you're sitting down waiting and you're not in the actual barber's chair and then they say hey and then he walks in and then, you know, you just kind of clock in your head, all right, cool, maybe because he's a famous guy, he gets to go in front of me. But it will still leave a sour taste in my mouth. I'm like, why is he going in front of me because he's famous? It makes no sense. In no other business in the world will somebody famous just go in front of you. 
because it just it just doesn't work or not a business that I would want to be a part of nightclubs work and the things where they you know prioritize people who are famous and stuff I don't like anyway I never, I never go to them for the most part I feel like everybody should have an opportunity to go if you have the money if you have the time to queue up and wait or whatever it may be and you're well behaved da, 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 you should be able to go anywhere you want especially a especially a fucking barber shop like and I'll bet you any money too the, what makes this more infuriating I bet you any money the barber was probably stalling a lot checking his phone it wasn't like he was okay hey guy i'm gonna cut your hair but quavo's coming in it and he's gonna tip big i like the guy whatever it may be right it's not even like oh let me just let me just run through this quickly right and then once he comes i'll cut him and then i'll jump you back on the seat Do you know what i mean that kind of vibe like okay let me run it through i bet you was wasting time checking his phone talking to quavo on the way there he's assistant like just being a prick basically right and then the guy turns up and he's flipping already fellatioing him from the door as he walks in and i hate that shit because he's already he's already recording right? he's already got his phone on flipping instagram stories recording as a guy walks into the shop so clearly he was anticipating the guy's arrival that's the thing that i don't like so if you're going to if you're going to kick me out of my seat at least hurry up and get the haircut done because i don't necessarily care about him i'm coming here to get my trim like don't get me wrong sometimes you know barbershops have a good little local community vibe to them but for the most part i'm here to make myself look cute make me look cute as quickly as you can let me leave this establishment and then you can go on and you know what you call it holding hands with your guy and asking about three point throws and whatnot three point shots whatever, you know whatever it may be you can do that stuff but i would be greatly offended to the point where i would legitimately start a ruckus like you're not doing that to me you're not getting me up in my seat unless everybody sit down like nah not happening not happening i don't believe in this whole ideology of flipping celebrities in the first place they know better than you and i um there's nothing that separates them from you and i apart from they're well known and that doesn't mean that they get to be treated better than you and i it's just a, a bunch of absolute bullshit and this i say more so because i feel like the level of customer service in black barbershops anyway is super low in general it's horrible it's terrible right especially when you go to like you know your aunties to go get your hair braided and stuff right sometimes you know they won't even you know smile at you sometimes it's fucking awful some of the treatment you get in there but you put up with it because you got nowhere else to go the last thing i'm going to accept now of course you're not going to let me book a time to get my seat in there specifically you're going to be answering your phone two minutes you're going to be jumping off to go eat some hot wings you're going to be uh, whatever texting somebody you're going to be checking with the girls that walk by the store you're going to be doing all this nonsense stuff so probably just doing your job all right i'll suck it up but then you want me to sit there and then stand up halfway through with my with my half of my head not done so Quavo can sit down come on man don't piss me off I would not have it in the slightest but maybe I'm in the wrong maybe I'm absolutely going off the boil here and I'm really exaggerating and making it worse than what it is but let me know in the comments down below would you allow a celebrity to take you out of your seat imagine if you were at a restaurant somewhere and you had a good seat you had like a good bar seat or you had like a good table for two seat near the corner or more next to the fan or something that was nice and they said oh the celebrity's coming in would, would you mind standing up and go and sit over across where the boiler is or you got a bar seat would you mind sitting over there at the front or just getting up and moving come on man no 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 you can't be doing that to man you can't be doing that to man